Good evening. I'm Enari Darklor, and welcome to Churiqua. Tonight, we will listen to our seventh episode, A Legend from Asturias, Spain. This is the card of death. Since I was very little, my family and I moved to Madrid. Every time we went on vacations, we traveled to a little town in Asturias. It is a little town where everybody is united and knows each other. I always had someone to play with, but I remember my grandma insisting on going to bed early and to not to go out at night for any reason. Once, I had graduated from high school. I didn't decide what to study, so my parents didn't beat about the bush and told me, look for a job. I work in a snack bar, but the owner was so exigent that after two months, I decided to go. Uh oh. My parents had already understood the situation, so asked me to look for another job. So at the time of not finding anything, I decided to give up and took my little savings I had and went with my grandma to the town. Once there, the first month, I focused on helping grandma with the chores at home. Then, a store was looking for a temporary employee. Mela, the employee in charge of the store, was pregnant and someone to be in charge of the store was being looked for until she had her baby. It didn't take me long to learn and not to commit mistakes, so Mela left and I started to be in charge of the place. Something that caught my attention was that all the stores and businesses were closed early, before sunset. Once at night, all of us were at home. I thought it was just strange ideas from little towns, but one day I asked my grandma, why isn't anyone on the street at night? It's because a card with Westia inside at night. No one should see it. If you do it, you can die. At the beginning, I thought it was just awful, and I just said that I understood. About a month later, as soon as Grandma fell asleep, I used to look at the sky, with those clouds, full of stars, until one night, I saw something I thought was an O. I saw a card from those pulled by horses, by horses, but there wasn't anything pulling it. The cart was going around Doña Yalga's home, a grandma's friend who lives a few houses away from hers. I lost it. Then it appeared once again and vanished. I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought I was dreaming. I went to bed. Next day, and after work, when I arrived home, Grandma wasn't there. Later on, she arrived and said her friend Doña Yalgas was seriously ill. She had been ill for a while. Suddenly, what I saw the night before came to my mind, so I decided to tell her what I saw. My grandma, surprised, my grandma, surprised, said, What you saw was the card of death. It visited people who are seriously ill. After the third visit, they die. Inside the car is Guestia, is in charge of carrying the dead soul in their procession. After a while, she told me not to lean out, because if they saw you, you could become a victim, even thought, I promise not to lean out, 
the curiosity was bigger inside me. So I did it again, this time with a translucent curtain in order to hide a little my presence from it. At the same hour, I saw the cart visiting and going around the house. This time, I saw how the cart appeared. From it, some people wearing white shrouds with candles in their hands surrounded the place. The amazing thing was the quantity of people who were getting off from it. In that little tour, I hid myself behind the curtain and looked out of the corners of my eye how after the little procession all the souls got into the cart they started running without any noise and disappeared. After disobeying my grandma I didn't tell her what I saw so I dis I so I asked Don Anton, the owner from the store, and I told him I listened to some people while I was coming work, talking about a cart and how it visited Doña Yalga's home. He told me the same than grandma, but after asking who was inside, he answered, Westia. Is the amount of souls of those who left this world with something pendant or suffering. They were shrouds, burning candles in their hands, and they go praying and singing funeral songs. Then they took the dead soul with them inside a coffin. The cart appeared to carry with it the souls of those who are seriously ill and close to die. During the rest of the day, I stayed thinking about it. Everything seems to fit in the puzzle, and that was the last night for Doña Yalga. So I decided to do anything possible to look at it. Without saying a word to Grandma, and such as the night before, I saw her pass, such as I did, and such as it did last time, but now Westia got off with a coffin. Four of them came into the house, came into the house with a coffin on their backs. They took some minutes and then they came out with the coffin open. There was Doña Yelga, pale and kind of translucent because it was her soul, I guess. They surrounded the place in their procession with the coffin on their backs, burning candles and even thought I saw burning bones, and I could barely hear that they were praying a rosary. Little time later, they came back and get into the cart, closed the coffin, and put it above. Then the cart disappeared. Next morning, it was the mass and Doña Yelga's funeral. Once Mela, once Mela came back to work, I decided to return to Madrid. Now I'm finishing college. Nevertheless, I remembered what I had seen those nights, and there are still inside my mind, and I wondered inside myself if. When the time to let this world behind arrives, and taking into account that we live in Madrid, will they come for our souls too?